Hello, my fellow YouTube friends and family. Yes, I'm calling y'all family now. I haven't seen y'all for a while. My phone that I like to record on was broken. I started to use one of my other phones or my computer. But I chose not to. No particular reason, just chose not to do it. Until I got my phone back. My Surface Duo had it for one year, y'all insured. And it broke on me. And I would have had it one year next month. This I got it in October, this September. And I thought I was at the deadline. So I went on and got it changed, exchanged. Ended up getting $700 back, but it was Best Buy credit. Because I that's what the insurance said. Anyway, so I got to get a new iPad because it broke too. Which is what I would prefer to record on. And I just didn't because it was locked and full and it's been a while. So anyway, it gave me enough money when I get an iPad and I'm going to get one of the um, Cricut mug presses. But I'm going to wait closer to Christmas because they're probably going to give me money back for buying stuff. So I'm going to wait. So anyway, whoop, whoop, I've been doing some Hobby Lobbying. Yes. And I think I marked one of my other videos as Michael's when it was actually Hobby Lobby. So I got to go check it because I had some fantastic, fantastic buys on there. So what I got was something I've been looking at for years, but I didn't know how to use and it went, went away. I went on the YouTube video with the lady that created this um, gallery glass. What's her name? Carol Smith. So I looked at some of her videos where she showed how to use it. And they looked like clings that, you know, also serve as um, stained glass look. So anyway... This is what I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of them because that was all that was left by the time I decided I wanted to go and get it. Now they had more. They had some other ones left there. But not all the brilliant colors. So like I've said in some of my other videos, i got about five in my location. So at some point, I'm going to go to the other stores and fill in from where I left off. But I'm going to tell you some of the colors that I got. This is... um bright white white pearl hologram shimmer lilac shimmer sapphire green shimmer this is cocoa brown that is ruby red but it looks more pink than red I'm just saying this is Princess Pink. This is Cranberry. <laughs> I got on Reader's Job, but I still can't see. Shimmer, Cranberry, something. I'll let y'all read it. Here you go. That's what it is. And this is... I'm trying to remember from what I saw it as the other day. Frost Sand. I'm trying to remember the name that it was in the store. Um, I got these mostly for skin tones. But you know what? I, they had another coat on dark brown I probably need to go get. So I'm going to pull this up. It's Shimmer Cranberry Glaze. Glass. All the same. I got them for two. They were originally two seventy seven. dollars You see I got them for $0.74. Cents. So, I am going to have a little fun with them. I wanted to have a little fun today. I just went for a walk to try to get my steps in. So, I didn't set up, but I wanted to go on and do this quick video. So, you all know, like I like to know, what's out there. And so, you can go on and start getting some things. Now, over in that same area, but on the side where they have all of the clay stuff, they have these. And these are bendy bones, is what they call it. Originally four forty nine, and I got them for one twelve. And they had two packs, but I just got one. What this is is like if you like to make little glue or whatever kind of characters, they're like pipe cleaners, cleaners, but they're not pipe cleaners. So you can use them to structure your little, your little people's hands, arms, well, arms more so than arms and bodies. They call them bendy bones. So. I want to make some people things. So I got them. This is um, Jerry Glaze. 
Eileen's. Now this here just came, found its way into my collection here. I got a few of these. They were at Walmart discounted for a dollar. I don't know what the original price was, but I know if I got them somewhere else, they would probably be more than a dollar. So I went on and got that. Then this, you know, this is a tagging gun. It was originally $9.99, got it for $2.49. Now I have to tell you something. I bet everybody in the world think I already had one of these, but I haven't. And I'm always trying to sell stuff. Now, I'm not trying to retag, and you know, some people think certain people like to steal stuff, and then, um, I don't know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I don't do those crazy stuff, so I can't even tell you what all they think, but I know they think that, you know, certain people have these things at their home so they can do returns. Now, I got one at my home. <laughs> But if I'm gonna do a return, I'm gonna do a return. It's, you know, I don't know. But I usually don't. I got a lot of stuff I need to return that I just cannot use, but I haven't. Just because I don't get make time to do it. So this is um Sculpey Tools. And like I said, I, I bought some of the other items and had them in another video. So I'm gonna have to repost that video, I think, under the real name. But it was originally six ninety nine for these little stainless steel cutters. And now they're 174 And you know what? They actually have one of the flyers in the store where they tell you about using these things. When I first looked at them, I was like, I don't know if I should get that. Then I, I thought immediately of uh, the lady, what's her name, that does all the Sculpey stuff. I mean, she does so much that they give her, her name is, she does the Kato. Is that her name? This lady. She does demos. She doesn't have as many YouTube videos as she should have. And I think it's because she doesn't realize the benefit of it. But, um, yeah, so some of her demos that she done, you know, where they had a little flyers that you can learn how to do different things. They actually use these. And I was like, well, you know, it won't hurt to her if I had this little teardrop, a little diamond, a little heart, a little star. You know, we make our little earrings, our little necklaces, our little bracelet pawns, and, you know, get stuff done. Now this, it was left off my other haul. It actually fell out my bags and was in the car, and I didn't realize, and I'm like, I know something was missing. But anyway, this is a sand etch glass etching system. And I definitely need to do a video on this, and I got some glasses waiting to be etched with two different systems with the gallery glass i already had an etching for that that i haven't used just been itching it use it in heaven and um so i got this one it was originally 39.99 so look at that it was 40 dollars and now it's 10 dollars so that was like i'm only paying 25 percent, or you can say 75 percent off whichever way it makes you happy because i am happy because i got it and it says it includes one reusable rose stencil but can I, <laughs> I sometimes try to travel through here. I'm going to see if I can safely traverse across the room here without knocking anything over because I'm usually knocking something over. The reason that I'm trying to get over there across this room is because I want to show you all my grand scheme is that I have bought this one and it was originally $10.99 I got it for two seventy five. dollars but this may have been before I started hauling I just started well not before I was hauling because I've been hauling for years but before I knew about hauling and doing the videos and that you all were calling it hauling and then I got this one for baby's first moments um, in fact, I got, I got this twice. That's how, <laughs> that's how much of a hauling I'm doing. And I got the gallery glass etching stuff instead of the, um, armor etch. But, um, I'm going to eventually try that one too. My sister had some of that, so I was trying to, you know, move some of her stuff. She didn't want me to use it. And this one was actually the wedding, wedding celebration kit. You know, you see it got the tuxedo and the bride in her dress and the maids and the, bridesmaids and the groomsmen and so you can put them on the glass so those are two big big events in people's lives and then i actually have this one 
I don't know, this is probably centuries old, but it was from Hobby Lobby back when it was $3.99 and it was $0.86. Cents. And like I said, at the time I was like, I'm going to get around to it. Because I'm always doing so much stuff. When they say extra, my name should be on that list because everybody says, oh, you always done some cactus. Yeah, I'm extra. Always trying to do products. I don't always get everything done, but I think I do well in the things I get done. Now, I also bought this because I like bird cages. I need to show y'all this fantastic bird cage. <laughs> but if I was showing to y'all, y'all probably don't be like, what? But anyway, so, but I'm going to show it to you. This is the die, and it has the little bird and that. And I should have, I'm, I'm trying to get better at, um, like, having a project done or doing one while I'm on camera. This one here, because you never know when you can give somebody a card with a coupon. With a coupon. And then I went on and I bought the bird for the birdhouse. You know, it came with a bird. But what I liked is that it um, lets you do the two-tone or three-tone if you want. It was originally $12.99 and it's for $3.24. And this one was originally $14.99 and $3.74. This one was originally $12.99 and I got it for $3.24. I'm going to, I got to show you how this birdhouse I gotta show y'all, okay, not just one bird house. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna try to show y'all, let's try to show y'all three. <laughs> and I don't have a bird, and they're not going outside. Okay. This is one birdhouse I bought. Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99 and I think it was it was either at the 75% off or um or 90. Probably 75. But anyway, just because I like them. It'll probably never go outside. I'll never see the light of day. I got one. I can't go get it for you. It's hanging in the garage. And um it's kind of like supposed to be like cartoon theme. I got it from this artist fair years ago when I first moved. Not just here where I'm living, but first was living in a town. My brothers and sisters and I, we used to go to this art fair. You know how they have them in the park. In different cities, I'm assuming. So, no different than here. I'm moving this out of the way because this one I'm getting rid of bring is going to need some room. I'm going to see if I can show it to you. Because if I change the camera, it's going to stop the video. This is a birdhouse. I just went to this fair in a local area. This guy, he carves a tree in this park called Ore Park here in Alabama. Near Montevallo and near the, um, one of the national cemeteries and national parks, um, American, what is it? American, oh, I hate that I can't tell you all what it is now, but it's a good park. It's beautiful history and all of that stuff. Um, you know, I talk about the development of America. And so he made this, this is a birdhouse. Like I said, I can't change the camera position. And in my other video, look for the other video that was Michael's, and I think I got to change the Tommy Lobby. And I'm showing it in, in greater detail. Now, I'm going to go over and paint it, but he says this is his girlfriend, and he has a whole lot of um, birdhouses that he make that are really nice. And I mean, this was like 60-something or more. And I got him down a little bit. Like I said, he said this was his girlfriend. <laughs> and you, of course, we see your little googly eyes and this. And then look, he got her mouth and painted that pink. Don't think bad things. Just think nice things. It's a birdhouse. Then he has this necklace down here. And has the heart right there like it's a part of the chain. And look, he has these little... I think they're like little fixtures that you put on, on, on drawers and screw the things in. And then you can use this. Painted them colors to make look like flowers on her dress and then I didn't pay attention but these things that make her hair okay let me move this out of the way I'm trying to move something here so I can 
let you all see. These here are arms for my chair. And I bought it because I was like, just the thought that he imagined that is enough for me to buy it because I'm not going to make it. You know, it's not that I can't. We're crafters. We can make it. And see this part, that's the birdhouse itself. We're crafters. We can make it, but I'm not going to make it. But I was like, that is fantastic. Um, and then here's another one. Yes, I said three. Let me show you number three. Hobby Lobby. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Now that one, like I said, was from the park. So I remember I put on, I put in the comment section his card information. If somebody wants to go online and buy it. I think he said he has an online store. Or Facebook. So I don't know how much this was. But it's four twenty four, and it has a hole for four birds, it's like a double decker house. Let's see. Oh, I got the original. The original was sixteen ninety nine, and I got it for four twenty four. So I'm gonna glam it up. I'm trying to decide if I wanna decoupage it, diamond dot it. How am I gonna do it? Paint it. I mean, you know, so many options. The one I'm thinking of is diamond dots galore. Um, glue, just some things. I, I just don't know. But um, all I know is I think I want to call it the cat's meow because, you know, my name is Catherine with the K. And so I want to name it the cat's meow. You know, just because... Yeah, it would be a good idea for a cat to do, to have that. Okay, let's see. Well, and I think that's enough for this video. So I'm going to upload it, and then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go up and watch TV. <laughs> and relax after day's work. But it's been fun talking to you all. Um, I'm going to just put this in here as I say goodbye. Subscribe, like, and, you know, put in your notifications because we want to keep our videos at the top of the YouTube queue because I've been losing touch with everybody. So I haven't seen a lot of videos and I'm sure you all haven't seen, haven't seen mine. So let's do it for each other. Now I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.